Well, conflict in East and Central Africa have left communities devastated. Most of the conflict areas are both inaccessible and wrought with danger. Among organizations that are trying to help to alleviate the con uh, conditions of the displaced populations is Finn Church Aid, an international development NGO and Finland's provider of humanitarian aid, specializing in access to quality education, livelihoods and sustainable peace. To tell us more about it, I'm joined by Mohammed Al Sanusi, who's the director of the Network for Religious and Traditional Peacemakers. Mr. Al Sanusi, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Prince, for In having that, me. Just to make it clear, you are part of the Fiend Church Aid. Yes, yes, we're, we're part of the Fiend Church Aid. Uh, Fiend Church Aid is the mother organization, and it is the, the largest development agency in Finland. Uh, we actually, Vince, uh, this year, we are celebrating our 17th anniversary. So seven decades of services providing uh, right to quality education, right to livelihood, and right to peace. Mm -hmm. And particularly, we're focusing actually in Africa. Yeah. Now, in Africa, I know that uh, you know you you say you access some of the most inaccessible places, sometimes extremely dangerous places. Absolutely. Uh, can you give us examples of where your programs can be found? Absolutely. So I will give you really a practical example. So we're functioning right now in Central African Republic. And we have office in Kenya, we're in Somalia, and also we're in South Sudan. But in Central African Republic in particular, uh, we have been working there for a number of years. But our work has increased, particularly after the crisis. As we know, uh, Central African Republic went through a difficult time almost now four years ago. But our office there is functioning. We provide quality educations. Since the crisis stopped, until today, we opened almost 200 schools for young children in Central African Republic. We provided uh, peace buildings. So in peace building and peace efforts, we traveled. I personally took a delegation of interfaith leaders from the United States to Central African Republic only mm -hmm. four months after the crisis. Just to tell the community there, we need to live in peace. So I took like Cardinal Makarik from the Catholic Church. I took with me the head of the National Associations of Evangelical, Pastor Leith Anderson. And this so, is with collaboration with the U.S. government, yes. just to promote peace. So would you say there's something uh, more unique when uh, you combine this religious dimension right. to providing real help on the ground? Well, because looking into Africa, there are two components that are very critical. The traditional leaders in Africa and the religious leaders in Africa. So we work with both actually communities and other communities as well. But we found it, for instance, in Somalia. Uh, our engagement in Somalia started in 2007. Today, we are 10 decades in the country. We gained the trust of the communities, clans, traditional leaders, religious leaders, government, and all of that. But through our work since 2007, engaging traditional leaders, increasing their capacity, Finn Church Aid, in collaboration with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Finland, were able to help the clans to organize themselves and to elect a parliament, a parliament that able to elect the president of the country, and now the second president after you know uh, uh, after five years, and now that provided actually to some extent is political stability in the country. That, so we think the religious leaders are critical. Big contribution there, but uh, in some place you've actually mentioned that Fiend Church Aid right. is perhaps the only one in certain places like in the Central African Republic. Republic. Yeah. How is that so? I mean, I would think there would be other organizations in some of those areas. Of course, there are other organizations, the Catholic Relief Services in Central African Republic, uh, World Vision in Central yeah. African Republic, but we are expert in providing right to quality education, we call it education in emergencies. Mm -hmm. So like the Central African Republic, we are the biggest actually providing educations, not only opening schools, but actually increasing the capacity of the education ministry in the country, mm -hmm. working with officials in the Minister of Education, as well as 
teacher parents associations, yeah. training teachers, providing curriculums, not only in Bangui, the capital, but also in Buar, in uh, Bounsua, and other places. Yeah. So we're trying to go to the regions as Very well. Very quickly, have you had a kind of results from this, like children who've grown up, gone to school, and managed to get out of those regions and gone to further education? Yes, absolutely. We were able to do that. In fact, we opened the school just with the ambassador of the International Religious Freedom from the U.S. Uh, last uh, November, as well as the Fincher 8 leadership from Finland, we opened a Mexico school to bring together Christian and Muslims in PK5, the most dangerous yeah. uh, place in, in Bangui. These students now, they are, uh, they are studying there, and our school, uh, schools actually in the country also graduating okay. schools to go to the further education as well. Uh -huh. It looks like uh, you know, you're doing a, a, lot, a lot of work what are some of the few you know some of the challenges you face? Of course, there are some challenges. Of course, uh, we are facing in the country, like in South Sudan, for instance. After the uh, crisis, okay. we're facing challenges, okay. but we are moving forward Thank to you. help communities there. Thank you. We can. We hope you continue doing that kind of work with success. Thank Thanks you. a lot for joining Thank us you so today. Much, uh, that uh, Mohammed Al Senussi, uh, director of the networks uh, Network for Religious and Traditional Peacemakers.